channel. Um, my name is Desiree and today I am going to be here with a few amazing friends that I've met on YouTube. Beautiful, wonderful um, women who are in love with Jesus and we're going to be sharing with you today um, a devotion collab. So what that means is that all of my friends are going to be sharing how they spend time with God. And we know that, um, you know, a lot of us are busy mums. Some of us are just busy married women that uh, have a very full life. And we know that we want to incorporate God into our day. We want him to be our first thought. We want him to be our last thought. We want him to be included in all the parts of our day. And it looks very different for each of us. Um, and so we thought that sharing what we do to spend time with God would be something that might be inspiring to others because some of us spend very simple times with God and some of us may spend very elaborate times with God but any time spent is precious and so we just wanted to come together as a group of women a collaborative to inspire everyone out there that God just loves any time that you spend with him and he loves the fact that you are intentionally trying to put him first so here goes um, in the comments below or in the description section below this video you will see a link to the playlist of all the other fabulous mamas that are joining today in this collaboration so do go and check it out and be inspired and see what we're doing um, and hear how we do it so here goes this is how i spend my time with god so um, I'm a mum of four little boys. I've got a 10 year old, an 8 year old, a two and a half year old and also a four month old baby. So time is like super, super, uh, time goes super fast. And also I homeschool and I'm a homemaker and so yes, um, time just seems to fly by. But for a long time I hadn't been spending enough time with God. Um, I would always talk to God throughout the day. I would send prayers up throughout the day. I would be communicating in that short way. But I wasn't spending any time in the Word. I would listen to worship sometimes, but I definitely wasn't putting um, the Word into my heart. And I just found that over that long period of not doing that, I was getting very dry and I wasn't spending any time listening either to what God was saying. And the one time um, at homeschool group, I was talking to a friend and I was asking him something about a situation that was going on in my life. And he said to me, um, what is God saying? And well, it really made me stop and just think because I knew that I wasn't hearing anything from God. I wasn't hearing him saying anything. And the reason that I wasn't hearing him saying anything was that I wasn't spending time with him listening so that was a huge wake up call and from that day I decided that I'm going to intentionally put God into my day because I make time for so many other things and I intentionally put time into those things but I just was neglecting my relationship with God. So what I then started doing was trying to at some point in the day spend time reading the word. Um, it is more so like I'm trying to read a chapter of the word a day. This is my Bible. Um, it's the Inspire Bible for Creative Journaling because I did love doing, um, like I love doing Bible journaling. Just show you that. Um, that's one of the pa pages I journaled. So I really enjoyed doing Bible journaling. I haven't done it that elaborate for a while, but I thought to myself, I'm not going to try and do things I can't do. So basically, I just thought I'm going to start in the New Testament and I'm going to try and read um, like one not even one chapter uh yeah actually yes that's no not even one chapter sometimes so basically i thought to myself i'm going to read one chapter a day but even if i read some of a chapter a day i'm going to be happy with that i'm going to sit down i'm going to ask the holy spirit to give me insight and wisdom and to make the word come alive and to teach me something from that small portion of scripture i read so that's what i do i pray first ask the holy spirit to guide me lead me show me and ignite the word and then I read it and I read what I can if it's a chapter or if it's just a few verses but sure enough he is setting it alight which is a blessing the other thing I did a while back is I bought a lot of um, like um, 
books on motherhood and parenting and they were just sitting on the shelf so I thought the other thing I'm going to do is pick up one of those books start reading them even if also it is just a chapter and ponder it and start getting that into my heart as part of my devotions so what I'm reading at the moment is Why Motherhood Matters by September McCarthy and this book has been a blessing to my soul and to my um, mother mothering life um, I am on currently on chapter anyway somewhere somewhere in the middle of the book and every time I get to a new chapter it is just so insightful and so helpful and confirming and I'm putting some things into place so that has been a blessing and the other thing I do is just before I go to bed I like to listen to a worship song so the worship songs that have really been speaking to my heart for quite some time is by um, Maverick City Music and I think on YouTube their channel is called Tribal T-R-I-B-L um, but it's Maverick City Music and they are just so inspirational to my heart and they really uh, their, their music just really makes me connect with God more so that's where and how I spend my devotion time I really hope that that's helped someone in some way to just know that it doesn't have to be big it doesn't have to be a lot of time but it has to be intentional and you have to just make it happen and when you meet with God he will meet with you trust me he will and he will give you ideas and thoughts and definitely it is transforming life-changing and I'm really praying that God would take the root of anger out of my heart I've got a funny root of anger that lives in there that I get very impatient quickly um, the root of offense I want it removed and so I'm really praying for those things trying to be very uh, intentional for God to just really garden my heart so much and just remove those roots so that I can be a blessing to my family to those around me and shine his light I hope this video has shone some light for you today. Please remember, go and check out my, the other ladies, my other friends that are doing this collab. They, there's going to be so much um, goodness in this collaboration, and I can't wait to go and watch all their videos. So uh, if you do like what you see on my channel, I would love, love, love to have you hang around, subscribe, press the bell so you don't miss any content. Um, and also if you do like this video please give it a thumbs up because that helps so much and also please talk to me chat to me in the comments I love hearing from you it really gives my heart joy um, to be able to hear from you and be able to do life together so be blessed have a wonderful week uh, and we hope that we've inspired you today take care and God bless